Well, thank you so much uh, for having me here today. And I'd, I'd like to get a, uh, give a shout out first uh, to Deidre Garcia, uh, who is the, our chairman for uh, the Denver uh, Hispanic Chamber uh, back home in Colorado. And she does an extraordinary job, so uh, uh, for Deidre. Well, thank you. Uh, my background is uh, military and small business. And uh, certainly, it takes courage to be in the military, but it takes courage to be in small business, to start a small business, um, to put your life savings uh, at risk. And, and my father, I never understood what, when I was growing up why he wanted to be a small business owner. And he, uh, he came from a military background, but, he, but his goal was to be in small business. When he retired from the United States Army, uh, he started a, a business, and it wasn't successful. And uh, we went from uh, a rental house to a house we owned back to a rental house. Uh, after that, and, but that, that's a story of, of small business in America, that, that people are willing to make those kind of sacrifices, and when they work, they create jobs. And, and we all know that small businesses are really the backbone uh, of job creation uh, in America. And uh, no business starts out, uh, uh, there's a big business, and it, it starts out as a small business. And so I know that, that many of you have had success at, at varying uh, uh, levels here. Um, um, my goal I was, in life was not to be a small businessman, but to, to be in the military. But, but after being in the military for a while, I decided I wanted to come back home uh, and be in the private sector. And I could continue serving my country uh, in the Marine Corps Reserves. But when I came back, my resume uh, said that I was in Army infantry. I was in the Army before the Marine Corps and then went to college under the GI Bill, uh, then joined the Marine Corps afterwards, became an officer. And so I was in, infantry, I was in Army infantry, Marine Corps infantry, and didn't have a business degree. And so every company I went to said, thank you so much for your service, but we just don't think we got a place for you here in our business. And I got so frustrated one day that instead of putting on my resume that I was a, a Marine Corps infantry officer specializing in amphibious warfare. I put down that I was involved in international real estate and the acquisition of beachfront property. <laughs> and that didn't work. But I took my savings and put it down on a small business idea. And it was tough, as all of you know what it's like to start a small business. But in doing so, I learned how to balance a budget, how to meet a payroll, and how to run an organization efficiently enough to make a profit. Quality is not readily found in Washington, D.C. Uh, I have a congressional district that is one of the most diverse in America. Uh, it's 20% it's, uh, uh, Hispanic, 20% uh, de la comunidad hispana. It, is, uh, uh, it has a very significant African immigrant population uh, led by Ethiopians. It has a very significant uh, Asian population uh, led by Koreans. And so uh, uh, it has been very exciting to reach out uh, to, to these communities. And I'm not very good at foreign languages. I served in Iraq in the United States Marine Corps and tried to learn Arabic. And uh, I figured I'd probably better use a translator because I'd start a whole new war uh, with my, you know, by some miscalculation, uh, given my Arabic skills. But um, I participated in, in the first Spanish debate uh, in the history of the state of Colorado, and in the first non-Hispanic uh, debate uh, in Spanish uh, in, in the history of the country. And, and I think it was, what it did uh, is it showed respect uh, in reaching out to the community. And I, and, I, and I think that it was in part led to uh, my success uh, in, in the last election. One of the big questions uh, during the debate what, she kept kind of focusing on what are you going to do about the children who, who came to this country through, through no fault of their own, who grew up here, who went to school here. And, and um, who won an opportunity in America which happened to be undocumented. So I was able to reflect back on my own experience in life that, that going into the military had, I finished high school in the military, I dropped out after my junior year, finished high school in the military, went to college under the, uh, under the GI Bill, 
uh, uh, was an officer in the Marine Corps, you know, got into business, that, that the military was such an enormous break to me that I introduced legislation that would allow those young people to join the military and have a path to citizenship from their military service. That's only one aspect of immigration reform. But we've got to get immigration reform done. Immigration reform needs to align with the economic needs of this country. Immigration reform needs to, uh, certainly we've got to secure our borders and enforce our laws, uh, but we have to have policies that grow the economy and we have to be compassionate in keeping families together. We've got to get that done. We, um, we have a lot of uh, challenges, certainly, uh, before us uh, as, as a country. Uh, immigration reform is one of them. Uh, economic policies that, that, that grow our economy, certainly, uh, is, is another one. And I think the Hispanic Chamber is so important, not only to my chapters in the state of Colorado, but what you all do nationally uh, in, in bringing ideas forward, uh, not simply about immigration reform, but how to grow uh, this economy. So I want to thank you all so much uh, for having me here today. And God bless you uh, for all you do, and God bless this country.